And we begin with those breaking developments in the intensifying debate between P&G and the Cherokee Nation over the Indians' school mascot. The chief of the Cherokee Nation tweeting that the mascot is offensive and that the 1999 or 1979 agreement should be revoked. Good evening, everybody. That agreement that he's referring to has basically been the district's defense for decades. Yeah, Jordan, it gave PNG a blessing of sorts. The former chief of the tribe even calling the school ambassadors of goodwill. Now all of that is on the line. So this all started with a petition calling for the change. It ended up going viral. So a counter petition was created and an all too familiar debate ensued. For longtime PNG residents and alumni of the high school, the mascot represents tradition, but the Cherokee tribe says their culture is not a costume. They're tearing down our statues and they're doing all these things, but let's keep some of the things. Let's keep the Port Natchez Groves Indians intact. I would love to see this school invest resources into teaching Cherokee history. We could help them do that. I don't want to see this school invest any more resources into the offensive imagery that I've seen. Cherokee Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says that many of the district's traditions are offensive to his culture, like the attire worn and calling the PNG football stadium the reservation. Tonight, the PNG superintendent responded, saying, quote, sadly today, July 8th, we received notification to revoke the October 1979 certificate. However, it is important to remember that our PNG schools belong to the PNG community and any future decisions on this topic will also belong to the community. PNG is far from alone. Right now, across Texas, 39 school districts use mascots that are affiliated with Native American imagery. 29 go by the name of Indians, two by Comanches, two are the Chiefs, another two are the Apaches, and two as the Braves. One district uses chieftains and another uses redskins. This list does not include schools whose mascots are the warriors because their names vary from district to district. Our coverage on this mascot controversy continues right now on 12newsnow.com. You can read the full letter from the PNG superintendent and also read about the petition. Well, developing Texas.